I'm going to share my recipe for snow fluid that I make for less than $2 a gallon. I have an industrial snow machine that I use for my Christmas display and I go through two to three gallons a night. And at 20 to 30 bucks a gallon for the store-bought brands, it's super expensive. So I figured there's got to be a better way. Uh, this doesn't say what chemicals are in here. So I started looking at what gets soapy. And I figured dishwashing soap gets really sudsy. And I started reading all the ingredients on the back. This label's all torn up, but uh, here it says sodium lauryl sulfate is one of, the, one of the main ingredients in here. And I said, okay. So I started searching for it. And I found this on Amazon, which is called SLES70. The SLES stands for sodium lauryl ether sulfate. I said, okay, let's give this a shot. So I started different combinations and mixes and testing. And I found the perfect mix for me is one ounce, only one ounce of this stuff to one gallon of distilled water. And then, uh, so what I did was I just got four gallons of uh, distilled water, put in a big pot, brought it to a boil. And then I brought it outside because it says on here, warnings, it says here, use only any adequate ventilation, avoid breathing mist or vapor, do not eat, drink, smoke, or use personal products when handling this product. So I brought it outside, use it at your own risk, be safe if you do this. Uh, but I knew I had the right stuff because the warnings on the store-bought brands, <laughs> the same thing. It says, uh, do not swallow, not, a, not for internal consumption, keep away from children, use properly ventilated area. Vapor from this fluid may be irritating to persons with aller allergic sensitivity, induce fresh air in event of irritation, and so and so and so. Say, same warnings on this as this. So I knew that's what's in the store-bought brands. This is currently selling on Amazon for $63 a gallon. This is 128 ounces in here. And with my recipe of using only one ounce to one gallon of distilled water, you can make 128 gallons of snow fluid. So you take $63 and you divide that by 128, it's only 49 cents a gallon. Plus the distilled water, I just currently bought this on uh, at um, Walmart. It was $1.34 a gallon. So less than $2 a gallon, you got yourself an amazing snow uh, fluid. And also uh, the uh, alcohol, again, it was really cheap. Uh, just again, one ounce of the alcohol to one gallon of the uh, distilled water. So this pot here has four gallons in it of distilled water. I brought it to a boil. Brought it outside to be in a nice well ventilated area. I measured up four ounces, super thick goopy. Give it a chance to dissolve. It takes a little bit. Stir slowly. Do not agitate it because you'll have suds. Uh, this stuff suds is up really, really fast and easy. Uh, and then you want to add a little bit of alcohol. Uh, depends how light and fluffy you want your snow. So uh, I come up again, trial and error. I found one ounce of alcohol is more than enough for me, what I, I'm happy with. So the recipe is one ounce of SLES to one gallon of distilled water, also one ounce of isopropyl alcohol to one gallon. So I got four gallons of distilled water in here, so I put four ounces of alcohol and I put four ounces of this in here. Stirred it very slowly until it finally uh, got all dissolved nice. Uh, and depends on, on, on the alcohol, depends how light and fluffy you want your snow. So if you want it to dissipate really fast, put more alcohol. If you want it to stay on the ground more and kind of stay, look like snow on the ground or on your plants or bushes, uh, use less alcohol. So I found the mix for me that works is one ounce and one ounce. So one ounce of this to one gallon of distilled water, one ounce of alcohol to, to uh, one gallon of distilled water. So I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'm gonna put it in my snow machine and I'm gonna show you the results. This is the snow machine I use. This thing's a beast. It, uh, it's, it's all self-contained. It comes with that hose you see coming out there. I run it all under here. And I run it up there. I added this uh, turbo fan underneath. Right now it's on position two. Uh, it has three positions uh, to help push the snow out. So here it is on the inside. It is a DMX controlled. It also comes with a remote control, so if you want to control it uh, by manually, you can. You can sit out and blast it off whenever you want, but 
uh, I wanted to be able to program this with my light show. I wanted something that I can uh, turn on and off, like like you uh, plug the plug in and unplugged it. Because I have uh, one of the, one of the controllers in my show is an AC controller, so I searched for a DMX controller that will remember. I can put a memory and say, "Hey, do this," and then when you turn it off, it remembers it, and then when you turn it back on, it just remembers the program you gave it. So I found this really cool. Uh, board here on uh, on Amazon and um, it uh, you set it you set a memory you want on it you say hey uh, how much volume of snow you want and all that you hit memory and you hit save and it remembers it so when you turn it off it stays in the memory and so now I just uh, go to my controller on my computer and say hey turn on this port uh, for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, or however, however long I want to blast the snow, it does it and then it just shuts it off until the next command. So, pretty cool. This snow machine also comes with this remote control so you can actually manually set it off whenever you want in case you want to just sit out in front of your house and blast it off. But I'm going to show you that recipe you just watched. I'm going to show you the volume of snow with just one ounce of that SLES to one gallon of distilled water and one ounce of alcohol you can see the volume of uh, snow that comes out of this thing so there it is you can see uh, like I said this fan is only on position two uh, it's a three position fan and you can just see the amount of snow that comes out of this uh, machine here